there guys it's me Ben and in this video we're gonna what hi there what are you doing here I give you an assignment all right what do I do make Dalgona coffee oh. <laughs> correction Dalgona candy okay and these are the ingredients all right then let's see what we have Ingredients. We have sugar, baking soda. Now we have the tools. A cookie shape, thing, cutter. Yeah, cookie shape cutter. Could be wrong. I don't know. Needle. Yeah, be careful. The plate. Frying pan, and of course, we got these two spatulas. These are not spatulas, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one for doing and making the dalgona. All right, let's get into it. Now, we're gonna make the very easy, very simple dalgona candy. First ingredient sugar, we need to open the lid. Take this small spoon out because we're gonna need three tablespoons. It's optional, but I'm gonna pick two instead, all right? Don't want it to end up very, very many layers of sugar. Pretty hard to uh, break through. So yeah, two is enough. Right, all right. Okay, just a quarter, just a quarter. All right, put you back. Close, 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 and yeah. Put it on the low temperature. Just put it on low temperature. Turn on. All right, low. If the sugar starts to become a little bit more clear and transparent like that, there's a the sign that it's melting. When it starts to have sounds of crackling fire thing, you should smell some candle wax, even though it's eventually gonna smell like cotton candy. Don't worry. I can smell the cotton candy smell, even though this is not cotton candy. This is Dalgona candy. Dalgona. Oh, 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 there you go. They're starting to melt. There you go, starting to melt. All right, good. Time to keep on mixing. Keep on mixing. Okay, we're gonna pick low heat again. I don't want it to overcook. Put in the middle. The easiest way to melt your sugar is putting it in the middle. And they should be melting. As you can see, most of the sugar color is starting to become brown which means that they're perfectly melting they're just taking a pretty long time to melt but it's fine it's fine it'll melt it'll melt medium heat now Okay, they're starting to become sticky. The ground is starting to become sticky. Medium heat was the way to go. But it's fine. Medium heat is just helping us with assistance and boosting us. Always pick low heat if you want to speed it up. Put medium heat, put it to low heat again. So it won't overcook or burn, all right? Because if you overcook it or burn it, it, I'm pretty sure it will taste more like coffee. I don't know. It's a weird taste. It's a weird taste. I think it's a little bit bitter. I don't know. It's a weird taste, honestly. So don't overcook it. So yeah, just pick low heat, turn it to medium heat to make it a little faster. Then you'll be fine. Okay. I should crush these now. 
I should crush these piles of sugar. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, and yeah. Okay, time for me to take just a pinch of baking soda. Now we stir it very fast. Don't do it too fast. Okay, now we turn it off. Now we pour it We need to wait for 10 seconds, then you put in your cookie sheet cutter. Make sure to put it in there. Make sure to press it. Press it good, all right? This is already quite hard. Yep, it's already quite hard. Let's go and, okay. Okay, you're made of metal, forgot that, and you conduct it very well. Oh, there you go. Hey, let's go. We got it, guys. We finally got it. It's a heart. We got the heart, guys. Let's go. Now, let's play the squid game game. This is the end of the part one video. We successfully made the Dalgona candy. And in part two, we're gonna do the squid game game and we're gonna do some ASMR eating the Dalgona candy. Stop. So, stay safe, stay healthy, and see ya!